heart beats fast, colors and promises. How to be brave? How can I love when I'm afraid to fall? But watching you stand alone, all of my doubts. Suddenly goes away somehow. One step closer. One look at you. like to welcome you guys here. The last wedding I was at was Josh Hagen. I had to run on the stage and catch him as he passed out. That was several years ago and I'm figuring they asked me to do the service now so if that happened again I'm a little closer this time. <laughs> but I will say it is an honor and a privilege to be part of your sacred moment and thank you for asking me to do this. Today, Josh and Kirsten are on the threshold of the closest relationship that can exist between a man and a woman, marriage. The first and most important institution that was created by God himself at the beginning of time. In ancient times, weddings were some of the most anticipated events of a lifetime. It was understood that the union of a man and a woman signified new life. It represented God's love and passion for humanity. So today we are participating in the oldest ceremony known to mankind. The purpose for today remains the same as it has for thousands of years. Two lives united to become one. Here are the words of Jesus Christ as recorded by the Apostle Mark. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two, but one. So as we begin this uniting marriage ceremony of Josh and Kirsten, it is my privilege to ask, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Now, if nobody does, what happens here? <laughs> well, we're at an impasse. We may be at an impasse. Her mother and I. All right. <clears throat> Y'all just face me first, okay? Back up just a little bit. There you go. All right, if you would bow with me and let's pray. Father God, you have created the universe, the heavens and the earth. You have made man and woman for one another. You have instituted this sacrament of marriage wherein man and woman might be joined to become one flesh. It is for this purpose that we come to witness the union of Josh and Kirsten in holy matrimony and to share with them on this joyous occasion as they make their vows to each other and before you. We ask your Holy Spirit to bless and sanctify this marriage from this time forth. It's in your precious name we pray. Amen. 
I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God in this company to remember that love and loyalty together with God's grace will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows which you're about to make be kept, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home in which you're establishing will abide in peace. No other human ties are more tender, no vows more sacred than those you are now assuming. Now comes your part. You're about to make vows, a covenant, a promise to each other. No matter what trials or storms that come your way, let these vows be an anchor that reminds you of your commitment to each other and to Jesus Christ. Jesus said, in this world you will have troubles, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so can you. Well, I want you, if you agree with these words, to say I do. Josh, in taking the woman whom you hold by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded wife, I require you to promise to love and to cherish her, to honor and sustain her in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth. Wealth. Huh. Wealth. <laughs> Does anybody have any wealth today? I don't think so. In the bad that may darken your days and in the good that may light your ways, and be true to her in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? I do. Kirsten, in taking the man who holds you by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, I require you to promise to love and cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your ways or in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to him in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? I do. Then with these promises, you are devoted to each other until death parts you. The ring has long been used as a symbol of love and is a token of a pledge. It is a never-ending circle signifying a never-ending love. It is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two individuals to become as one. Let your care and protection of these rings be a reminder that you are to protect and care for each other as a ceaseless reminder of this hour and the vows that you have taken. Place this ring on your bride's hand. All the way? And you can go all the way. And repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. I thee wed. I give without. I give without hesitation. Hesitation. All my worldly goods. All my worldly goods. As this circle. As this circle. Of this ring. Of this ring. Never ends. Never ends. So will my love. So will my love. Endure forever. Endure forever. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. I give without hesitation. I give without hesitation. All my worldly goods. All my worldly goods. As the circle of this ring, as the circle of this ring, never ends. Never ends. So will my love. So will my love. Endure forever. Endure forever. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn vows by giving and receiving of the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of this state, and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you husband and wife as witness before God in this company. Therefore, let all men take care in the sight of God this holy covenant shall ever remain sacred. Josh? You may kiss your bride. <laughs> All right. Y'all turn and face everybody. Y'all turn and face everybody. It is my privilege to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Josh Hagen. <laughs>
Yeah.